right, so we're having a little fun at HMR Studio. Giving you a chance. That's not allowed. Oh, well, it's a chance for you to know us better and for us to even get to know ourselves better. So this is the H&R Studio take on 20 questions, and I'm going to start by grilling this guy first. <laughs> okay, and remember, we're, we're being snappy. Snappy? Snappy. Okay. Number one, Rome or Athens? Mm, Rome. Michelangelo or Donatello? Michelangelo. Donatello or Nani de Banco? I would have to say uh, Nani de Banco died before he could make as big of an impact as Donatello, so Donatello it is. Pour over coffee or espresso? Uh, espresso. Real espresso. Real espresso. He's married to a half Cuban, so that means Cafe Bustelo. This is not an ad for them. Caravaggio or Rembrandt? Uh, Rembrandt. Whiskey with or without an E? Uh, I'm going to have to say whiskey with the E. Okay. The Vatican or the Met? Uh, ooh. Um, oh, 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 snappy, right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vatican. <laughs> Charcoal or graphite? <laughs> Charcoal. Creme brulee or flan? Uh, creme brulee, because I can make a killer flan, so uh, creme brulee is, uh, it still has that mystery to me. I can taste what's wrong in, in everyone else's flan. Okay. Which artist do you think is overrated? Um, From any time period. So, I... Uh, I'm 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 always trying to like Rodin and I just don't. Mm. I just don't like. Him. That those are fighting words. Which artist do you surprisingly like? Uh, I let's see. Uh, a lot of people will be surprised that I've uh, spent a lot of time uh, reading the writings and looking at uh, Saul Lewitt. Mm -hmm. Most underrated art museum. Underrated. Uh, the Victoria and Albert Museum. I don't hear that talked about very often, and uh, when we went two years ago, it became my favorite museum. Most underrated old master. Underrated old master. Uh, let's see. I, uh... Jeez, uh, that's, that's a good question. Um, I know I'm supposed to be quick here. Um, no, no. I guess I'd have to say, uh... uh I don't know, maybe Pantormo or Jean Bologna. Uh, we've talked a lot about those mannerists lately. and Yeah, I don't think the mannerists get quite as much credit as they deserve. Yeah. Best food in New York City. Best food in New York City. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Switching it up a little. Uh, King of Falafel at 31st Street and Broadway in Astoria, around the corner from where we used to live. Yeah. If you weren't an artist, what would you be? Uh, if I weren't an artist, uh, I, I'd still be designing things, maybe some sort of a architect or industrial designer or something like that. Okay. Name someone who is not an artist who inspires you, such as someone from tech, education, finance, etc. Um, I've been uh, really interested in this guy named Randall Carlson uh, lately. He's an interesting guy. Yeah, tell a little bit. I'm not, not, you don't have to be so snappy for this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Randall is uh, a sort of self-taught geologist and uh, researcher who's been, uh, um, uh, who's been talking a lot on um, uh, various outlets on YouTube um, lately about, uh, uh, about human history and the history of the earth and how, you know, intertwined those things are and how... Uh, you know, there's good evidence that, uh, you know, human history goes back a lot, lot further than, or, uh, you know, the history of human civilization goes back a lot further than what we know. And uh, the idea that civilization started in Sumeria is... Uh, is <laughs> okay, back to snappy. Back to snappy. Okay. What's a book you've been meaning to read? A uh, book I've been meaning to read... Um, 
uh, I have been meaning to read um, uh, uh, Ways of Seeing by John Bercher. Which old master would you have liked to be, ha have been apprenticed to? Wait, that's really bad grammar. Which old master to whom would you have liked to have been apprenticed? Huh. Um, I, I mean, you know, my favorite old master is Michelangelo, but I don't know if I would want to say that because uh, I, I, I don't... Yeah, I don't know if he would have been the type who would have encouraged people to do their own thing. So uh, I think I'm going to have to, maybe I'll bring up John Bologna again, because he's, he's kind of yeah. the next guy in line for me, and I know less about how authoritarian he might have been. Okay. Which country would you like to visit you've never been to before? I've never been to before. Jeez. Uh, um, I think... I, I don't know, perhaps uh, I'd like to go to Germany. Okay. Which art museum would you like to visit that you've never gone to before? Mm. That I haven't been to before. Uh, I would have to say that... Um, uh, I... Um, oh, jeez. I, I, um, I know there's a handful of museums in Berlin. If... I'll stick with the Germany thing and say that uh, they're, they're, you know, any of those are up for grabs. Okay. Bonus question. What are you yes, drinking? I am drinking uh, a bit of uh, Sour Mash bourbon whiskey uh, with a lemon and some rosemary and uh, a splash of bitters. Okay. I lied. There's another bonus question. What's okay. your spirit animal? Spirit animal. Uh, I would like to think it's a bear. Okay. My turn. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> My turn. Okay. All right. So I'm going down uh, the ones... Uh, I'm going down the list that says questions for Lauren, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, for Roberta okay. the Skeleton. <laughs> All right. Rome or Florence? Ooh, Florence. Michelangelo or Leonardo? Michelangelo. Raphael or Pontormo? Mm. Mm, I really, really adore Raphael's drawings, but I'm not as crazy about his paintings as I should be. So um, due to his originality, which I don't think Raphael had much, I'm going to go with Pontormo. Mm, fantastic. All right. Number four, Café Americano or Espresso? If my Cuban grandmother ever watches this and I answer otherwise, she'll kill me. So I'm going to say espresso. All right. Yeah. Vermeer or Velasquez? Velasquez. Gin or Lambrusco? Oh, gin. The Uffizi or the Met? You know, that's really hard because I used to work at the Met as a terrifying guard. Um, but you know, I you know I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be loyal. To my former employer, I'm going to say the Met, even though the Uffizi is amazing. Egg, uh, egg tempera or oil? Egg tempera. Black beans or carne asada? Black beans. Which artist do you think is overrated? Which artist do I think is overrated? Um, I'm going to get a lot of heat for this, but honestly, I, I think Vermeer is overrated. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm on board with that. Mm -hmm. uh, which artist do you surprisingly like? Which artist do I surprisingly like? I really, really like Helen Frankenthaler's paintings. Hmm. I think they're beautiful and truthful. Most underrated art museum? Most underrated art museum? Um, the Casa Buonarroti in Florence. Uh, most underrated old master? Andrik Goldsius. His paintings suck, but look at his silver point drawings and look at his etchings. The etchings are revelatory. Best food in NYC? Well, I'm going to be loyal to our old neighborhood in Queens, too, but um, I'm going to say a Greek restaurant on the corner of 32nd Street and Broadway in Astoria called Bahari Estiatorio. Amazing Greek food. Uh, if you weren't an artist, what would you be? A writer, which is... What you are. 
Well, yeah, but well, that's like so the next thing that gets paid as little <laughs> as an art. Another another thing I would have I would have loved to um, have gone into uh, publishing or the design world and some something creative. It has to be something creative. Okay. Name someone who is not an artist who inspires you, i.e., from tech, education, finance, etc. Uh, Elon Musk because he takes no BS and he is the epitome of an original thinker. Uh, what's a book you've been meaning to read? Oh, God, there are so many. Um, Designing English, which is a book that you bought me when you went to Oxford University to do some install work last year. And it's about the, the history of the topi topography of the English language. Which old master would you have liked to have been apprenticed to? Agnolo Bronzino, no competition. Which country would you like to visit? Um, I would love to go to Japan. I love cleanliness. Which art museum would you like to visit? The Rijksmuseum. Bonus, what's your spirit animal? Um, probably something like a yappy dog. <laughs> Yappy dog, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I can't lie. Actually, I'll, I'll take that back. We were watching that nature documentary a few weeks ago, and there's a tiny mouse that lives in the desert that fights and kills scorpions. A mouse that takes on scorpions. That, that is my, I hope my spirit animal. All right, well, I'm, I'm, you didn't ask me the yeah. second bonus question. Oh, there's a second bonus. Okay. Um, no, there's not. I ad-libbed it when I asked you what your drink oh, was. Just ask. Thanks. I was hoping you'd catch on a little quicker. <laughs> ask me what my drink is. All right. Um, Lauren, what kind of drink are you drinking tonight? This is a coronavirus budget concoction um, <laughs> in which I poured a splash of very inexpensive white wine, some homemade seltzer, and a sprig of rosemary. It's actually really, really nice. And it matches your dress. Oh, oh yep, yep. How about that? <laughs> so, thanks, guys. We thought we'd do something kind of fun and informal. Um, even I was kind of surprised by some of the answers Brett gave. So not only did it give us a chance to get to, to know each other a little better, but you get to know us a little bit better now, too. Any last words? <laughs> Nope. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He, he's, he, he was done with this five minutes ago. Oof. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> You're bad at this job. I'm bad? No, I'm not. I did fine. <laughs> okay.